hot streams, hot, hot streams for your face. Okay, so yeah, still not pleased with the segment title. Could probably work on that. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know who comes up with these things. So far, it's all me, which is quite honestly putting someone woefully inadequate in charge. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of this podcast. I'm not a fan of me. Nah, it's fine. Okay, so this week's hot stream, which is a streaming video you can view online. Hopefully something you haven't heard of or seen before. This one's a little more popular. It's kind of a big one. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. It's a uh, 2010 movie. It's a Canadian comedy horror film written and directed by Eli Craig. So basically it's, it's mostly comedy, but it's also a horror movie. So if you get squeamish, you know, man up and get over it because it's funny as hell. Let's see. It stars Alan Tudyk. Yes, his name is Two Dick. The rumor has it he only has one. TMZ says he has three. I'm going with TMZ. He played Wash on Firefly. Um, he was the pirate in Dodgeball. Arr. And Tyler Labine plays as his fat friend. Uh, Tyler was in Sons of Tucson. Uh, he was in Breaker High, Invasion, and Reaper. Um, he usually plays the fat funny guy, which he does in this movie masterfully. Let's see. And also in the movie is Katrina Bowden, who you may remember, she played Siri on 30 Rock from the time she was about 18. She was the unbelievably sexy office assistant, intern, whatever. She's the one who claimed, oh, most of my clothes are handmade, otherwise I wear an Asian Zero. Mm. She can't act, but man, does she look good on camera. Can't teach that. So let's see. Uh, she was in uh, 30 Rock and Turds Like Piranha 3 Double D, Movie 43, Scary Movie 5, and Nurse 3D. Because apparently that's a thing. So the movie features Tucker and Dale, obviously as two West Virginia bumpkins out to remodel this cabin that they bought as a vacation home. Uh, they're misunderstood from the get-go, they're feared to be psycho hillbilly murderers, and they kind of play the part, though accidentally. They really do. So, they star opposite a group of bright-eyed college kids out for a fun weekend romp, who all assume that Tucker and Dale are just obviously horrible psycho people. It's a very funny movie. I'm not doing it justice. I should probably script these things better in advance. Hijinks, and <clears throat> Hijinks ensue. Shit goes sideways, as it does in comedies. So, the big thing is, um, you know, it's, it's got so much funny death. Funny death, funny gore, an awfully good storyline, and a good ending. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, available on Netflix, now and, you know, kind of usually. That is this week's Hot Stream for Your Face. Mm -hmm.